Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. First things first, we're going to have to sort out our power situation over here and then we'll have a look at what we're going to do with, um, with the water and the sewage. Now, I'll just have a quick look. This bus should be dropping off some workers and they are going in both directions, which is awesome. Okay, now I'll pause it for a second while we quickly sort out these issues. So, oh, pause it. Um, now, we need power... And we, that bus station doesn't need power. This potentially needs power. It's got power at the moment. So presumably we don't have necessarily have to do another one if we just maintain power over here. So then that one has power, right? Has power, it's working. Yeah, it's just drinking water with this one. Okay, so let's, um, instead of necessarily putting it in the middle there, let's try and do a little something up over here so that we can at least cover power in a number of different locations in in, in like an area over here. So let's do that. Um, get it, give it a little footpath so we can see construction crews um, do some stuff here. Moderate is going to be fine for getting that construction to work. Now, two things that we need to do. I want to continue the um, the power infrastructure around here. So let's get ourselves another switch. Uh, ultimately, some of these things may get a little, a little, uh, um, a little overloaded. Get another switch. I'd like these switches a little, uh, a bit because they um, give us a lot of potential here. So I'll do that one in in that location. Now, we'll, if we're thinking airport over here, um, what we don't have currently is power running um, over here. So actually, we may be better off running the switch in this area and then straight through there. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of tempted to squeeze the switch in in over that way um, so that we don't uh, mess with the bridge here and then run run the switch over into this direction and then possibly terminate that is quite an interesting one what other options do we have with switches we can obviously split it it's one of the things we can do um, we will need a fair bit more power in this location so we definitely will need to maybe run the switch uh, this way and over there and we could then ultimately try and bridge the gap here if we wanted to go in that direction we will need to bring power lines in from that side um, and we will need a little bit of power out over here let me just have a quick look I believe our yeah I believe our our um, iron reserves are oh no no they're up there okay so there's nothing in this area here Okay, yeah, so there's nothing in this area that, uh, that we have to speak about. So, um, so yes, then we might not do anything immediately in this spot. And we do need to bear in mind we're pretty close to the, to the power station. We could run new power lines in that direction. Yes, absolutely. So what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, run it into, into here. So what I'll do, I will... Put one switch in here and then probably do a switch in this area. That, that's going to go, to be honest, that's going to go right now. Um, hmm. Do we cross and go to the other side? I don't think it's necessary. Uh, whether we... Yeah, this, this hill will become a bit of a challenge for us, but I'd rather we, well, actually, if we keep to this side, we might be better off then. Um, we might be better off. Okay, well, let's do that then. Uh, let's uh, let's clear that one out, not on this side then, on this side, and we will run it to, to the other side. Um, so the airport side will have the, uh, the power switch. Uh, so I think, Right over there, then. 
pull it forward a little bit. Uh, not too much. Like that. Um, more switches rather than less, I think, is, uh, is the go-to here. Since we've got these areas, we may as well use them. Um, and for the time being, that'll be sufficient. Okay, now, what I'm doing is putting some service accesses onto this. Um, gravel is all, uh, I mean, mud roads is all that's required, really. But, um, but ultimately, I think it might look a little bit better if we do these as gravel connections. Just looks more servicey. Uh, yeah, service on this one may be a challenge for us in the sense that this will become one way without the real ability to. This will be one way like that. So, how would you get in here? You'd go this way and. Mm, okay, so what I might do in the interim, do that. So this guy will come in here, get that connected. Yeah, the problem with this location is that we're going to have a one-way road here, and that might limit firefighter access. But I think don't think it's the end of the world. We'll just do a little something like that. We'll get that assigned. And um, okay, so let's get. I think we can uh, get the moderate crews to come and work on these connections i think that's going to be sufficient um, and then we just need to uh, get our power lines over there so that's only the first step of the of the issue here uh, i don't mind that i don't mind that at all get that connection there get this connection to go through in there i like i like this this um Seems reasonable. I think that will be okay. Is those guy? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, that's going to be fine. So we'll go up to there, and then um, we will be piecing things together over here. We'll do the nice and close um, in this location, like so. And um, mm, let me redo that one. There we go. I want to keep it um, fairly tight to the um, to the highway here. There we go. Something like that. Um, that'll be a start for us, and um, so we'll get our power infrastructure moving in that direction. Uh, that's okay. It's not going to be uh, urgent thing for us right now but what I will be doing is giving what is the underground um, I don't think underground is what we're after that's only 12 but anyway we might be able to taper it down over time uh, so let's just get the this one going we've got a few connections already I'm not sure I'm gonna keep that well we have to keep it now right and then what we'll do is we'll do we can still bring two out from that side so give the underground connection here And uh, we'll do that. We'll get it assigned. We'll get moderate onto it straight away. Um, and these are going to be higher priority just so we can get that sorted out. Okay, excellent. So that should, um, should get started. Now, what we will need to do is do a little bit of water infrastructure work. So we've got a lot of heating and stuff running out this way. Um, we've got... We can potentially bring in some water from yeah these aren't super resilient to be honest uh, but that one has a little bit more capacity now i think so we could probably bring in a little bit of water infrastructure directly this way and then when we're talking about a sewage connection let's see uh, sewage connection can connect onto where that's the first spot we have some availability on um, and there's not a lot of availability on the line but I'm thinking that's gonna have to be 
a little bit of work this way. Okay, so let me give... Um, oh, I've, I've, I've uh, got a workshop item with a more, more bigger, bigger switches, basically. So let's... let's um, oh, this is all... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So if I do... A little something like this here. We will have multiple. Oh, actually, sewage problem is probably starting all the way over here somewhere. Um, so let's do. Let's do this. Let's do a, a switch over there. And then what we'll do is we'll do another kind of somewhere over here. Okay, we'll, we'll make a start on that. So we'll kind of come around this way and then we'll run it down here. I think that's going to be the most effective option. Um, and then we can, we can still see about how we do the rest of this. Um, now, obviously, we will need a, a sewage tank. Any... Oh, this one just a slightly... Just looks a, bit, a little bit different, really. Ah, see here we've got a bit of a challenge on our hands. But I'm... Um, I'm comfortable with, uh, with this and we'll try and tie it in. Yeah, we'll try and... If we do it like so, there we go. So I think that should work. Um, now let's uh, let's see about getting ourselves sorted out. We'll just go with the largest pipe straight away. We'll tie that one in. Oh, it requires proper slow, but for some reason it is willing to. Ah. Okay, let's uh, switch on our slope. Oh yes, of course. Okay, let's uh, let's not place it there then. Let's uh, let's move it to this side so what we can get a proper slope going. Yes, of course, of course. Now uh, we'll just go with this one again. If we place it there, yeah, seems like a reasonable connection. Now we try that one more time. Yeah, I think that is going to be sufficient. So if we say, if we wanted to do this, right? Yeah, okay. So we can't actually make that work without, um, without doing a few things. We, this doesn't actually want to use the uh, shift tool. Let's, uh, let's stop that and try it again. Now, it means that we'll have to do a little something like this. I think that would probably work. Let's flip it around so that we've got the path access to the right location there. Uh, maybe on this side instead. Yeah, it's probably better on this side. Let's do that. See if that. See if we can make that work. No, 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 there we go. That's the one. And we... Really? Even that doesn't want to work? Even that is not a, a reasonable enough slope? Well then, um, okay, fine. Let's... Um, we can uh, change this to a deeper one. So let's try that for a second. And do that again. Jeez. It's a, there's a lot of mucking about with some of these things. Um, so let's do that. We'll flip it. Throw it in there. I'm hoping that will work now. Still not? Wow. That's a bit of a bit of a crazy crazy depth. I don't quite get it. It can't 
difference can't possibly be 10 meters from there to there. Just feels, it just feels weird. This doesn't work. No idea what we're going to do. There we go. Now it actually does work. Let's give ourselves the slope. That's obviously going to be pretty costly. And then we... Honestly? So our, loca our, our problem is this one. Hmm. Connections in over there. If we if we ran straight from here, not tied in, are we? Yes, there we go. If we ran straight from there over to not there. Other infrastructure in the way. Yeah, that's going to be a challenging. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm just going to going to dump the dump the switch out that way. I'm not going to worry about it. So do I do an outflow somewhere over here and we just dump it? Hmm. Yeah, okay. This is going to be too much work for us right now. Uh, let me cancel all of that. Get these buildings out of the way. We'll need to do a, we'll need to think about something proper in the long, in the long run. Um, that's all good. This one, I'm okay with leaving that there, especially if we can make this work. Um, and then all we need to do is have a look at what we can potentially do with outflow. Um, hmm. Okay, have a quick look. So if we do this, let's go above ground to see what uh, this could look like. But this doesn't actually want to work. It's a little bit too... I. could do something over there and just kind of dump it or we could run it this this way maybe that's what we should do maybe we we turn it around and we dump it this way instead yep let's discharge into this direction that is a downward slope so let's uh, flip this around to the other side and let's just get an end. Let's just end this issue here. Let's do that and try that one more time. And we'll just go ahead and dump it into the other direction. We still have it connecting. Okay, so what I'd rather then do is get ourselves a bit of a switch going on right over here. It should be quite useful. Because we can ultimately maybe build something in the middle there. Let's just do that. And um, give me this one. Let's try this one again. So let's do this. That straight line over there is going to be fine. Let's see about um, removing that. Okay, perfect. So let's um, do that. And we'll do that. And we'll assign, get all of this to potentially start work me a little pathway okay so these two should be able to be assigned get moderated onto that they should uh, sort that out uh, that one can't assign at the moment give me a path and uh, get this one to be assigned as well okay wow bit of a bit of a pain some of these things uh, it's the switch over here. Let's just get rid of that. Okay. Now, water. Um, the idea was that I'm going to run some water out from over here. So let's find that section there. Probably need to just go straight up the busy, the biggest pipe. And that is a pump, so it should be fine. Do that. The water substation. Water um, substation. 
is this one here. It doesn't actually need power. Okay, good. So what I'll have is I'll have the water substation do the other side of this. Okay, and we'll get that one there. And I assume I can just finish off that pipe. Something like that. Perfect. That seems that seems reasonable. It'd be a little bit uh, costly to build, but um, yeah, look at that. How much steel and stuff it's going to take. But anyway, let's just get that done. Um, I'm just going to leave it there. And what we'll do is we'll assign moderate onto this as well. Oh, as soon as I get it, to give, give it a path. Okay. Wow, that's taken 20 minutes of so far. Hmm. And if we go down, let's make sure that all of that is in fact linked in. Okay, good. So I think that should give us, um, because this is not going to take a lot of water, so we should be able to sort that out. We do need to do something a lot more proper um, in terms of in terms of that. Okay, there we go. So let's uh, let's make a start on that. The guys should. Um, I can actually put moderate air onto this as well. Uh, let's quickly do that. The assignment for moderate air is also. Okay. Yeah, okay, so that should um, get moderate air to, to help out on some of that infrastructure. Okay, let's leave it be. Okay, now the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to um, build a fire station over here. I thought this little little peninsula here is going to be really good. It's going to be next to the airport, so we'll have some helicopter action over here. So um, Ultimately, the airport's runway will probably look a little something like this. Maybe we'll do another one like that. Yeah, but I'll probably in terms of getting length in, it'll probably be something something like this over the bridges, over the river. So you won't have a, a massive is issue with, uh, with clearances and stuff. So I think probably there. Maybe even a little bit more central. See about something like that. Let's just have a quick look what that length looks like before we... Um, overcommit to this for too much. So if we say something like that, okay, alternatively we've got, oh, but that doesn't give us too much to go on over there. If we do this instead, that's going to be short. Um, if we do this, yeah, that's probably going to be about the longest that we can get. Um, and it might be sufficient, to be honest, if we do a runway like that in the in the end. Um, I don't think that we need it to be a kilometer long. If we do it nice and central there, it's going to be most useful to us. Uh, we're not going to have big air traffic, but that's that's kind of the, the name of the game. So if we do a, a, a fire station over here, stop pausing the game, let the game play. There's lots happening. Oh, actually, I need to uh, pause the game for the minute. Uh, let me just quickly do the fire station, then we're going to go and get the EDKs. Um, do, 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 fire station, emergency, come on. Fire station, I'll just go with um, the normal fire station. Yeah, let's just go with the, the standard one. There's some other ones that's not bad. How does this guy look? Yeah, it's not a bad one, to be honest. And then we can do... Yeah, maybe let's uh, let's make use of this one. If we said uh, maybe something like this... We could ultimately do a little bit more here, but I think then, then this, this section will kind of be clear of everything else. And we'll just do our um, our heli heli uh, stops over here. Heliport three. Yeah, we can we can clearly make that happen. I was kind of thinking something like that. Just have a look at what the yeah, I like that. That looks like there we go. So that will uh, kind of be our fire station in this area. Let's just double check. How many vehicles we can use at this fire station? Parking spots five. 
So we uh, we could even we could even have a couple of vehicles that can run into this direction also from here. That's good. I like that. Um, so the idea being, let's um, let's extend this curve like so, and then. I am there, and what we'll do is we'll get a bit of a service axis. Out over there. So let's get cracking on this one. We'll get Kowski to come and work on this when they have a little bit of time. So that's going to probably take a while to get there, but that's, that's good. We'll need power over here as well, which we may be able to run in from over there in the future. This guy isn't going to be up and running um, anytime soon. Okay, let's do that. Let's leave it be. Now, EDKs, EDKs. Let's uh, get over here to Savasi. Um, this road is done, by the way. Took ages. I think I'm going to do shorter road sections. Okay, so we're working out over here. So we should now be able to grab ourselves an EDK or two. I'm going to do two EDKs. So let's do... Wow, they're pretty expensive at the moment. One... Two EDKs, thank you. Um, and then the general idea is that we will um, continue construction over there and we'll get the crews to start finding everything else. I'm happy to sell this guy because it's going to be too slow, slow us down. That's the one in and okay, that's good. Let's move on over to the other side of the map. And, uh, and see about whether we're about ready to get ourselves the EDK on this side. Uh, not quite yet. Okay, let's speed things along a little bit over here. We should have everything we need. Um, our imports were enormous. Well, that's some vehicle imports now. So our imports, gen uh, imports has generally been quite enormous due to us um, filling our stockpiles with electronics and steel and, and all kinds of these kind of things. But it, it shouldn't be... Um, shouldn't be a big deal because we won't continue. That's already filled up. So we won't continue doing that much longer. I'm hoping this guy is going to be finished now. And just make it done. Excellent. Ooh. That's an interesting allocation there. I'm quite happy to go about selling this guy now. It's okay. A little bit of a, a loss run there. That's fine. This should work now. Uh, it needs a track, uh, track vehicle. Two EDKs for me, please. And what I'll do is I will continue the construction over there. So hopefully one of them goes out this way. Uh, it'll be, a, they might be in each other's way a little bit. For at least a, a small amount of time. Yeah, we really don't have a lot of workers here. And then this guy might um, run out that way to try and build this. I think there's enough room for it. If not, we're just going to have to be, it's going to be a bit of a waiting game, really. Now we've got some workers going on, so hopefully we can make this happen a little quicker. Um, we are working on some of these road sections. We'll get these done, and then we'll get these done and see about finishing things off. I probably need to start working on this side also. Where are you going? Going over here, yeah? Oh, we're still filling up on stuff. Okay, that's okay. We should be fine. We should be fine. Workers is the biggest challenge for us at the moment. Now, um, over in this location, have we still not finished this off? I think we're probably putting the finishing touches on it now. Okay, that's just the, the electrification over there. And the next thing I would want to work on is probably a little section here so that we can um, get this ele extra electricity onto the network. Just one section there should be fine. Um, these guys have so much on their plates at the moment. It takes ages. Okay, um, we really should start seeing some improvements at the moment. Do we have... I don't have any workers here. This is coal workers. There's workers up there. These two are picking up at kind of the same time. And so we end up with a little bit less workers than we probably should. Look at them. Kind of dicing out of the out of the blocks there. 
Okay, this one just dropped off some workers, so now we should have workers. Oh yeah, that's a nice big complement of workers. Um, and so everything should be happening. Yeah, I think electronics, as quickly as we get it in, they move away. Is this guy picked up the electronics? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's a minuscule amount. Why would you do that? We're not out of electronics. That's interesting. Power has stopped. So heating has stopped, so power has stopped somewhere. Double check these. They have people. We're not using all of that, by the way. And then over here, well, we should have power. Really, we should. So that's okay. The next piece of the puzzle is we probably want to start working on some of these roads. So um, before we get too ahead of ourselves, I would like us to um, just sort out some of these roads. That should be fairly useful. We'll just get Kowski assigned to it. Oh, and one of the things I thought I should do is actually change um, up our, um, our stuff here by... And potentially we build um, another one that only comes and gets workers over here. What is this? Oh, technical services that I've decided had never actually gone and built because of what we've got going on over here. Uh, well, let's... Um, Let's move that in, and um, what we can do is we'll just make a little tweak over here so they can work work on that, and we'll put them that back so that that will not become a node issue for us, and we'll get that in there. And so now we can get Kowski assigned to these pieces. That should be fine should be fine okay what i wanted to do is i wanted to split off the buses from everything else because i think we're uh we're not necessarily effectively applying our, our bus fleet uh for workers or our workers so let's um let's get ourselves if we go to construction offices um get ourselves a slightly smaller one for the buses i think I thought that might be a good one. This is a little bit hilly here, I think. So I'd rather not put it up against that. Um, I'd much rather put it in here. Here we go. Something like... Something like that should be a, a lot more reasonable. Yeah, there we go. That's the, the right angle for us. I thought we'd make a start on this, and then what we can do is we can um, we can build and we can move all of our buses out there, and then we could probably put extra road cranes and things um, in into those two, um, and then that's okay. I did I did remove. Oh, I wanted to remove this one because I'm not going to make use of that. Um, the buses will go in here because they'll go and pick up in this location if we do have workers. And similarly, I wanted to do. Um, a different uh, worker setup over here. So what I might do is I might have. Well, actually, okay. Let's start. Let's have a bit of a look at what our um, what our extra construction facility might look like. So what we will need as a as a starting point is we will need to unload uh, gravel. Yeah. We don't actually have on train at the moment. Okay, that's something to think about. So we don't have train, uh, gravel. Uh, we will need to, to make a start with gravel. So that means a train aggregate unloading facility. Um, that's pretty small. We don't. We probably don't need an, an, an enormous one. Hmm. I like that actually. Alternatively, we could do it on this side in a collision. I think I know where that is, actually. I think it's just over here. Yeah, for some reason, when one is going out and one is coming in, it's, it acts like a collision. It's a little interesting for me. Yeah, I think it's just a timing thing, really. Yeah. Okay, um, back to this. If we have a look at... at the rail aggregate, that one. It's 
a two. Yeah, this is probably the right the right course of action for us. So even if we do it on this side, we can do um, access to either side. It's it's going to be a little challenging. Let's uh, let's make a start. We'll flip it around. We'll make a start with say something. like so right so we make a start like that that should be able to give us um, rail access got a crossing right over here so presumably mm, we don't need another one we could do something like that goes in and then goes out. So forget about um, actually tying it in and let's just do something like that. So if it's in on this side, and obviously we need we need to become in and be go, going in and out, we should be able to get it to go back out that way. Hmm. Actually, that might be... Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe we'll push it forward in here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Let's 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 change this up a little bit. I'm just thinking. What I can do is I can actually just do, um, but I need need a little bit of size in there. So let's um, let's go back. I do like this mod. This mod looks really good. So let's grab that. We'll uh, flip it around again, and we'll place it in. Something like this area right over here should be sufficient to get across the other side as well. Okay, so if we do that instead, oh yeah, there's plenty of room on that side. Actually, we can make it, we can move it around a little bit more. Sorry about that. I'm getting a little bit um, off track here. There's plenty of construction underway at the moment, so, um, so we are actively working on on stuff yeah so if we do this that gives us pretty reasonable access in all directions and that can have the impact of running our rail like so so we'll have room for something and we'll have a switch in there and uh, similarly do this We'll do that and we'll have a switch um, somewhere in there so that the guy can, yeah, probably as part of this, we'll get a switch going on in there and we'll have this guy sign, sign in there and we'll have a little bit of extra room there. So I think that's kind of the idea. This side is a little bit shorter, but I, I kind of like what, we, what we're doing with that. That actually works quite well uh, around that curve. Now, so what we will need to do from here is we will need an uh, aggregate storage. Railway dry bulk, hmm, that is the other thing to consider uh, if we're bringing in cement. So we could potentially do a little something like this, that heating has stopped working. Maybe, maybe on that side instead, yeah, I like that. It's only going to block off a little bit there then. And for that guy, oh, we can go out to either, either direction. So maybe something like that for the dry bulk then, if we ultimately want to make sure that we can bring cement in here. Um, and so this is going to start becoming quite a lovely extended rail yard. Of this we have to clean it up of course but I kind of like the idea of doing that now what we will need to do is uh, just get our, um, our road connection out there it's not going to need access beyond firefighting really so um, once constructed 
So that should be absolutely fine. We do that. Okay, that's not quite the... That was not quite the plan there. Okay, try that again. That did, did, did an interesting little piece of work there. I just, I'm trying to get it... Um, get it to work um, as straight as possible here. So something like that is, is kind of the, the idea, and we'll have to look at how those tie-ins work, but I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with this, and this should give us reasonable queuing lengths. That one might be a little short, but there's definitely going to be room there. I do want us to potentially do a, a crossover here. If we, if we are going to do it this way, I want to do a crossover so that they can get onto any one of these. So that needs to tie in pretty quickly, actually. Okay, there we go. So now from a construction perspective, the next thing that we need to have a look at is, we'll, we'll forget about, uh, so concrete, uh, actually storage, storage. Let's get ourselves uh, storage. Do, 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 do. Where? Coal. It's crazy. There we go. Small aggregate storages. So uh, we probably don't need an enormous amount of gravel here. But maybe a little bit. So if we do something like... Presumably we should be able to make this work, right? Really? We can't get anything out of there? Actually, this will look really nice and tight if we can make this work. Let's have a look at that. Um, let's have a look at what's the issue here. Oh, they're coming up. Okay, so we get ourselves a conveyor. That's interesting. Okay, that's a bit of a bummer then. So we really can't make that work then, huh? We do that first and then the rail. Well, let's, uh, let's have a quick look. I think we probably have... Okay, let's leave that. Let's quickly trim out these rail sections here. We'll have a quick look. That'll work, but we won't be able to. That's like on the ground there, right? Oh, it's a very low input unless we go in there. Hmm. Thought that's going to work a little bit better. Anyway, don't worry about it. Let's trim that one out and this one as well. We'll clear that one. And we'll clear this one and we'll give it another go. Uh, where was that? That was about here. So if we instead do a little something like this. I just want to see if we can potentially get the track under there, but I don't. I doubt it. Oh, oh, look at that. So if you do the Q and E buttons, that's awesome. Excellent. So I wanted to do, I wanted to check this one. We flip it around. Yeah, that's the one. We flip it around. We we can actually get that access in there. There should be enough room between the pillars. The height clearance is going to be our biggest issue here. Oh yeah, that's never going to work. That's never going to work. So it's a bit of a challenge for us to, to cross this unless we do do the, the towers. Okay, so what we will just have to have a look at is, is probably diverting it around this way. Yeah, so that height out of this facility is, is just too low. But I think that's probably realistic, to be honest. So let's just try that. Uh, find a spot for it. Um, we'll flip it around. Get it in here, maybe. I think that's going to be okay. 
trying to maximize our storage space here, probably doing something like this, then we should be able to provide um, a few facilities access and we still need to provide the road access as well. So do we do we do this instead? Yeah, I think let's do this instead. And we'll just uh, cross our rails in an appropriate manner. Actually, we could, we could get it a little closer. Let's uh, let's try this. Sorry, I'm I'm being a little bit uh, a little bit more kind of pedantic on this one. Um, we'll need to go somewhere like that if we wanted to have multiple accesses to it. If we were to do that, okay, then we needed to do the conveyor piece here. Uh, even that's going to be a little tight then. I want to do the highest conveyor. If we do that. Flip this guy around. So this is kind of the idea that if I do that oh it's still still gonna be pretty tight not so tight as to not work oh so tight as to not work that, that would have actually worked really nicely okay let's mess around with this a bit more let's just double check these fires oh my don't know what's going on have we finished off this is this powered excellent 75 escapes this year it shouldn't become a massive issue for us now unless we're understaffed um shall we up our staff numbers let's just go up to 50 and uh i'm just trying to make sure that we probably we probably need an extra couple of vehicles on that uh let's buy Another couple of buses. I just want them to be as quick as possible. Ooh, we've got a traffic jam. We don't often get traffic jams. Ah. It's an interesting um, problem. So these guys are trying to load to sell. Yeah, that's what's happening. There's probably too many of them doing that. Let's quickly have a, just before we continue, let's have a look at what's going on with our, with our track building. Okay, these guys are slowly doing their thing. Probably more slow than it should be just because it is, um, it's a, the, the number of workers is the problem, right? If I click there, yeah, you can see we've only got 13 workers there. You, I would like to sell you, please. Just get you out of the way. Um, and then these guys will continue their, their jobs. Uh, ultimately, once we... Oh, we don't actually have a switch. Okay. That's of interest. Anyway, we'll come back and fix that if we need to. Uh, I wouldn't mind... Oh, we are probably getting Kioski to do a few sections of road. Yeah, yeah, all done here. Um, I would like to make a start on this one. Yeah, I'm not too... Yeah, maybe that section is a little too long. Yeah, I can't do that anymore. There we go. We'll get... We just need to get some of this stuff sorted out. Uh, we'll do that. Okay, and we'll get Kowski onto that, please. Uh, probably don't want to do both of them because they'll have directions from that side. What I wanted to do is um, is uh, bring forward some of our some of our guys because we will want to make a, a bit of an effort here to uh, to terraform some stuff. So what do I need? I need um, I'll just put the depots out here. To be honest, if I've got depots, do I have? I've got two. That should be sufficient. So let's do our two depots out here. I can't build more. 
Okay. Well, one one should be helpful enough at least at the starting point. So what I'd like to do is move all of you guys. Out over there. Uh, and this is a construction office. And that is a road depot. So let's um, let's clear out this one so we can reuse it. We'll trim that little section there and we'll clear that out. Um, so now we have... Oh, and we can get rid of this guy. I'll have to have a look at where we're going with our tunnels and things. Uh, clear that one out. Perfect. Bring in the next building here. Another depot. Over there. Depots are, are good because then they don't assign these guys to anything else, which is kind of the, the intent I had with it in the first place. So let's just move them out over this way and then we should be able to terraform a few things here and get um, get our rail connection all sorted out once they're out we'll get rid of that there's a bit of planning that we still need to do here um, yeah we might uh, make use of some other stuff here but definitely with this I'm not going to be able to go to the other side I think if unless I use a different type of storage maybe that's okay uh, I wanted to do yeah construction office here for buses have we built our construction office here we have so this one will be just need to rename it Kaoski Kaoski uh, construction CO workers and what I would like to do is you from a passenger perspective you're getting your your workers over there and all of the buses needs to go and be assigned to here and we can probably yeah it's just one worker just do that just do that just get all of the buses assigned to that side similarly we've got buses over here so see we don't have a lot of buses right so now we can have more buses plus different styles of buses so what i can do here is i can go ahead and grab ourselves some smaller buses that's pretty quick uh, just look at look at total capacity. So where hmm, uh, speed? Let's look at speed instead for buses. Uh, any largish buses here? That's a pretty good one. I'll grab a few of them. Grab ourselves about four of them so they can be assigned. So now we'll have to separately. Assign, so let's assign a construction office. This one here is now, okay, let's, let's not do that. Let's remove it here. We'll go into, let's go in there. We'll assign uh, Kioski construction workers in there. And then moderate air has to go in on this side. There we go. So there we go. That, that should help us out a little bit. Going on here, that's looking healthy. Um, this should, oh, come on. That's not even assigned. Jeez. Yeah, that's a bummer. Where am I? Uh, down here. Can't believe it. Please, uh, please do this as high priority. They are set as high priority, so hopefully they'll come and do them straight away. Okay, so now we've got to assign construction workers slightly differently. So if we come over here, now we won't have a lot of buses coming in unless we, unless we say it. So there's um, a missing asphalt. How is that possible? Uh, something's yeah it's running without problems uh, so now what we can do is we can get oh hang on some construction mode we can assign these guys over here and over there separately 
Oh, this is on the rollers. Uh, yeah, well, let's do that. That's fine. It's it's continuing along, chugging along quite nicely. Um, if we go underground, sorry. If we go underground, where's this tunnel bore machine at? Are we done? Where is my tunnel bore machine? Let's um, pop out and quickly figure out who's supposed to be working on it. There's some other construction that needs to happen over here. There's just too much happening. Where's my tunnel bore machine? Is it is it parked? It is parked. That is quite uh, quite an interesting one. So that means. I don't know what that means. That means we need the EDK to finish it off? That's interesting. Uh, sorry, I need to actually take this uh, this, this one. I, I do wonder why you can't assign hotkeys to, to a rail construction office. Or if you can, let me know in the comments because I don't know. Okay, so... Now let's uh, let's have a look at what's assigned. So nothing here is assigned. So please come and assign this so that we can actually make a start on that. This section is assigned, but it's awaiting something. No workers or mechanism. I'm assuming it needs the EDK to finish off the other side. So the tunnel bore machine is really just appropriate for for tunneling. This section of road all the way to our bridge is done. It's just, it's just a few more days of rolling. A few more days. 4,000 more days of rolling. So when we get some, some workers out on site, that should be pretty useful. Come out over this way and see what have we made. It should be, oh, we should build a quarry in here. It'd be so, it's such an awesome quarry. Okay. What's going on with our... Um, missing gravel? Oh, of course. It's empty. Okay, 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 fine. So uh, let's clear that out. Let's clear this one out and let's load up over there. So now you should get your gravel in there. Let's uh, get rid of this. That was an unfortunate one. Wow, it went through that gravel really quickly and there's been a fair bit out here. It goes through the gravel super, super fast. Anyway, we'll then continue our construction. There's still a long way of rail laying to go. What happened with our roads here? Finished off those sections. Let's get to work on um, the next pieces there. We just want to make sure we we tidy up our access point here at least somewhat. Um, it is going slow because I'm not micromanaging everything, so things are super slow. Super slow. If we go back up this way. They are slowly progressing, but yeah, number of workers is obviously an issue. Um, I can get that assigned to get the guys to move. I don't mind doing it in little chunks. So the guys will now start uh, start working on that and we'll continue that road. Um, these roads are underway, uh, being asphalted. Oh, actually from multiple directions. We do need to start work on construction here. We should really be able to finish this off. It really needs very little. Oh, I'm a little frustrated that it's not that it's not done yet. Is this guy heading to? So why are you running off? Did we finish one section? We didn't. It literally only needs a bit of electronics. I might hang on just to see that we get it done. This is all working. We should have water and stuff here now, right? No one's complaining about anything. Eating is available. Uh, I haven't seen any fresh escapes here. Ah, but what I wanted to do... Okay, okay, okay. What I wanted to do... And I can build... Oh, and I needed to put... Mm, hang on. Okay, bring me in some prisoner buses. Prison buses. Not enough tutors. I constantly have that issue, but for some reason we've got plenty of unemployment. 
Total capacity, please. Grab me. Let's just start with two of them. And what I'll do is I'll run prison buses from there to there. Uh, so that should be quite useful. There's another fire out here somewhere. Should be fine. It's underway. These guys should have moved here. That's okay. Let's get ourselves a free um, fuel station. It's going to be good to have free fuel stations along the way here for the time being until we um, establish slightly better infrastructure. Another building on fire. See where that is at. That should be fine. That's our water well or something. That's good. Now, um, I've got these guys, so I can get it to come and fill up our new, our new facility here. Should be all good. Now, I could, I did, did I get rid of all of these? There's one more here. Let's get rid of that one. And trim out that section and clear that node. Perfect. So now... We could make a start on doing a little bit of terraforming here quickly. Um, it needs to be pretty, pretty mild. Because this guy's going up, ultimately, I might just re relay those, gra th those things there. So let's... Um, I want to do it... Um, okay, so then, and then from here, let's say that's our level. Let's um, let's let's take that, and we'll from the center push it out this way. It's ultimately a, a very smooth transition. Is what I'm after here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll trim few of these. Uh, okay, that should be fine. Let's just um, go back here and level from the center again. Are we... Uh, when will we get there? Oh. So the idea was always that um, okay hang on hang on hang on we're gonna have to redo this so let's um, trim this back I don't want to uh, actually we'll do that uh, let's level it out just a tad more level from the center here there's a little bit more room here okay so if we do that kind of wondering if this is even going to work. Nope, that's not uh, not quite going to work. Let's trim that back and what we'll need to do then, uh, we could try Is it too far? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, let's uh, let's level it from the other side then. Um, so if we go... A bit of this. What is this height? Let's just double check this height quickly. 18. Oh. Uh, and this is, yeah, yeah, so it needs to be about 18. So let's bring that up a little bit more. There we go. That should uh, do the trick. That's uh, quite high. So we'll have to smooth that out to this location here. So let's just level that from the center. Okay, that's a start only, so we'll leave it there. 
Now, the question is, um, I just wanted to check, did we finish off this piece here? We have. Okay, now, what I want to do now, and we'll finish it off, well, we'll have a look at how it works in the next episode. We've already gone over time. Um, I'll get rid of this, and we'll quickly have a look at our line. So, now we've got... So if we go to view this line, right, the coal worker line. So from that grad platform, I would like to stop here at Warstock and then to Baroslav, which is this one, right? And you're not going to load there. You're going to unload your workers. And at Zaktograd, you're not going to unload. You're going to load. Okay, so that's basically basically the, the situation here. And what we'll say is... Um, yeah, it's fine. We'll just leave the name as is. So that, that's the situation. And what we'll do is we'll put the other guys on there. So for the time being, that's kind of the, the plan. Oh, apart from the fact that you don't want to unload everybody here. Uh, but I think actually we'll start out like that. So let's just do that. Okay. So we'll start off with this. And we'll grab the, the other train which is related to this one, Zaktograd oil worker train. And this train it needs to be reassigned to, um, let's just have a look, put it onto the Zakto coal worker line. Perfect. And now it's doing its thing. Good. So hopefully now we've got more workers going to all of these things. And we're not loading just a half a load or something. We're trying to um, maximize our stops at this, in this, uh, at this uh, station as best possible. Okay, that should be good. Uh, let's quickly go up here and have one quick look. Are we finishing this off? No, not at all. No idea. This isn't working. There's plenty. Is this done? Not yet, but almost. So there's so many things going on. Um, and I do want us to get this forward facility going on. So that's kind of the, the bones of it there, trying to make this um, this work as a, as a construction site. This is going along nicely. Uh, is this assigned? Uh, we can probably get... Ayoski assigned to some of these. And, uh, and even... Well, we'll have to check how we do with Kioski workers. Otherwise, we'll assign our workers separately. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. We'll have to come back and have a look at how this is going. Um, this is progressing fairly nicely. Uh, we're getting everything done over here. There's some rail work that needs to happen. And uh, are we progressing here? We are progressing on this side as well. So that's good. Oh, we actually made a start. Oh, no, no, that's just the longer section. That's good. Um, how's these guys going? Slowly. They're going, but they're going slowly. But that's fine. That's fine. As long as we're, as long as we're extending the rail from multiple angles now, we'll get it there a little bit quicker. We'll get it there quicker. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we've dealt with a few little small things. Um, oh, and this is actually under construction now by Moderate, I'm hoping. Moderate construction. Let's just get Moderate of Modred onto, onto it um, in their full capacity and so we can actually get our extra stations in there and then we'll continue to do this probably need to go up a little bit go over and I was hoping to um, smooth that out probably maybe I'm going a little bit overboard maybe I can just go down again and then come back up again maybe that's going to be all good uh, okay guys thanks for watching I'll see you in the next episode if you've liked it hit that button bye bye